Tune here back again guys. Hello, how's it going? Um this week I'm gonna review uh Battlecrest on the PC. This is la well say last week I reviewed um Infinos uh, Gaiden on the uh, PC, which is a, a really nice shoot 'em up. Uh by a company called Pickerine Games. I uh, which are like a Jap uh, Japanese developer and um, they've made two games. They made the Infinite Gaiden, which is their latest one. They made this game, Battle Crush. So I thought I'd buy this on Steam and give this a go and give it a try. Uh, as you can see, it's a vertical scrolling um, shmup. Uh, very, it, it has loads of vibes of Image Fight on the um, on the arcade and the PC Engine. Reminds me very much of Image Fight actually. Um, this some nice little systems. Uh, what, what's quite nice about this as well. Uh, so if I go into, I say the options, you can change your credits uh, and you can change the arcade mode or hard mode and you can change the, the background uh, you get as well, but I'll leave it on mechanical. Um, also, if you, uh, when you get on Steam, if you go to the uh, manual for this game, there is instructions how to put this in Tate mode. And Tatty mode comes with um, scan lines as well, so I haven't actually tried that yet. So I might get a monitor set up on the side and give it a try because it just sort of pretty sweet in Tatty mode. I say this, this is a this is music again on this game was I say I'm gonna pun, I'm gonna really ruin this pronunciation again. It was done by Sukomo, uh, was it Hayakataro? Hayakataro, uh, basically. A uh, guy who done a lot of music for Technosoft, uh, famous for the Fund Force Five soundtrack he did, uh, and he did soundtrack for Broken Thunder, um, and he did the soundtrack for Infinite Gaiden. And uh, I've, so I've been looking his name up, and uh, the first uh, soundtrack he did was for Hyper Duel. Now Hyper Duel is a really cool arcade game, very interesting. So if you ever get maim, get a chance to try that out because I can imagine the actual arcade boards for that are ridiculously expensive. And there is a Saturn version of that game actually, but again, it's ridiculously expensive. So we're going to run into the game. In the game, uh, you got charge shots. You can pick up two orbs at the side, and you get a charge shot. And it, there's three different types of charge shot. This is a really powerful wide one. You've got one that gives you like a, a circle blast area and a normal charge. I quite like the circle blast area one. The most powerful charge uh, really kicks ass, but it sort of pushes your ship back for a second, which you sort of lose control a little bit for about a second as you're playing it. So basically you start off with your normal your normal weapons. And then you pick a power up which gives you uh, your, your little orbs each side. What you can do with these little orbs, you can fire normally or you can hold down the button and do your charge shot. There is a uh, few different weapons in this game. Uh, there's this weapon, if you collect the power up for this weapon, uh, it does sh it shoots behind you as well. There's a red sort of like sort of spread weapon. There's a green homing weapon and there's like um I don't know, like a brown yellowy sort of brown coloured uh, like a powerful shot, the brown coloured one, which is from Bayer. And there's a yellow spread shot as well, which is really nice a spread shot. So you've got uh, bosses at the end of the levels. There's uh, six levels in this game. Uh, you've got a couple of continues. There's not a huge way in the amount of scoring you can do on this game, but if you can kill these big enemies fast, you get this little bonus that comes down. I've only managed to get in one or two things, so don't see very often. That's a little bit of extra scoring. Apart from that, I don't think there's any any major scoring options on this game. I say the the way the the sound effects and the way this fire scrolls and looks, this really does remind me of Image Fight. I say Image Fight is a uh, IRM arcade game. It's a uh, very difficult IRM arcade game, but this game reminds me of it quite a bit. Ah, see the little tree teach me. I'm gonna get the spread weapon. So it's not super powerful the spread weapon, but um, it does come in handy. Well, 
Right, first boss. What I found is right, it doesn't always pay to keep charging on these bosses. Some of your normal weapons will take them out pretty fast as well. So that's the first level, guys. I say uh, the music in this game is pretty nice. It's not as good as the music in uh, Infinos Gate, in mind, but um, it is pretty good. Uh, playability wise, uh, your ship is not super fast. Um, it just plays right though, you know, plays nice and smooth. There's the yellow weapon I want over there. Uh, I say there's a nice amount of weapons in the game and the charge shot which does make some uh, interesting sort of ways to kill the bosses and stuff on you. Uh, not necessarily always need to charge mine, but... Don't get killed by that then. Like sometimes it's a good idea to take one of them up with a charge shot. Uh, graphics, um, graphics in this game, I think pretty nice to be honest. Pretty nice detailed 2D sprites, does remind me of an old 90s arcade game. Nice little detailed characters and nice little animations and stuff the characters got. I say it does remind of Image Fight a lot, especially if you've got things running up and down the walls and the big big spaceships and stuff that come in you've got to destroy and uh, stuff just like pretty much you're doing uh, Image Fight. Destroy that thing before it comes on screen. Yeah, so the graphics are quite nice and detailed. Um, you can add a filter to it to filter out the, the more pixel clean look that I'm using at the moment, which you know looks alright to be honest. Like, but I quite prefer the uh, more cleaner sort of looking. So uh, with the playability in this game as well, it is uh, a lot of the bosses and a lot of the little enemies in it. They do take a little bit of learning. There's, you can learn this game once you get used to how things fire and different things fire in different ways, and like bosses can be killed in different in sort of different strategies you can do some bosses. It's just quite a nice little game. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, I should have stayed over the other side. Ah, oh, that was stupid. They hold me in on you, they do. What you can also do is the front of the ship when powered up is, is a shield. Right, oh, he's dead. They're quite nice graphics on that boss, I quite like that. I like all the sort of wires and sort of tubes and stuff are going in it from behind. Right, back on uh, the spread weapon again. This level can be a little bit tricky with the um, big ships in the background. So you can destroy those big ones as well. If I collect that blue weapon there, I can actually fire behind me. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay up here out of the way. The actual explosion of that actually blocks bullets as well, which is uh, 
quite nice, quite handy. So this company Pickerine Games, so the two games they've made so far, I actually really like them. Oh, that was leggy. I don't really know much about the company, but I don't know whether they're, they're just new, new, new to this sort of game or. Right, this one's tricky. If you stay right behind, it will, it will kill you as it zooms in. Yeah, so I don't know if the people in uh, that company have actually made other games. I'll have to try and look them up and see if I can find any more information about them. So said they do have a website, but uh, it's all in Japanese. You can't translate it, but... You know, it's like with translations, you, can't, you don't always get it exactly correct. Right, that other one in the background over there, you can see the shadow of is the actual boss. You can say bosses in this game could be learned as well. Sometimes he rams you when he, he does our shield. I'll go back this way. Yeah, sometimes he does a shield, actually rams you, or sometimes he does the lasers you gotta dodge. I don't think he rams and does the lasers at the same time. So even the background style, uh, level level designs and stuff are quite similar to um, Image Fight. This level can be a little bit tricky. Get the red fire, and the red fire will actually shoot through walls, which is uh, very handy. So you can actually shoot that enemy over there with the red fire. In. But watch out! I've been killed by that before. <laughs> going forward there. This is where getting this blue fire is going to be very handy because uh, you can shoot behind you. A few enemies come behind you there. Gotta go forward here because the wall comes up. Ah, damn. Wasn't looking properly. Yet. Right, this boss I'm not particularly very good at. It's tricky, this boss is. I will continue in this though, guys. Really stupid. So 
they haven't quite got this boss down yet. He's the trickiest boss I've come across so far in this game. Beast now, getting the old uh, asteroids. You use a different weapon, but the other weapons are more powerful for getting rid of these asteroids. Is near the eyes, are Ah, oh, I thought I'd shoot that. Right, let's continue anyway, guys. Tricky if you don't take them out straight away. I'll we'll try not to leave too much on screen because uh, it will sort of hide in CR. Talking and playing at the same time can be a little bit awkward. <laughs> but to be honest, this is the way I prefer doing my reviews. I don't like recording and uh, talking after. I always find it hard to sort of think what I'm saying. I'd rather sort of um, review a game when I'm actually playing it. Damn, it's all going downhill now. There, I haven't quite got this level sort of uh, sussed out yet. I think it's tricky. Well, at least some killy things behind, you know. Oh well, so I got level 5 out of 6, it's not too bad. Uh, so I do need a, a bit more practice on this game. Try and finish uh, all the levels, but um, yeah, what well, do I give us a score? I say, like, graphically, I think this game's quite nice. It's very sort of like, it is sort of like 16 bit arcade sort of thing. It does, like I said, it does remind me of um, Image Fight. Uh, music, music's pretty decent. It's not amazing, but it, it, it's good. You know, it's got some decent tracks to it. Um, Price wise, five pound fifty nine pence. It's cheap. It is really cheap. I gotta give it that. Um, playability wise, plays really well. There's lots of uh, enemies you got. You can learn their firing uh, patterns and stuff, and you can you can learn the bosses and all that. So it's got that sort of um, keep you coming back to it and playing it more, sort of to learn it and get a bit further each time. Um, I don't think it's going to be too difficult to finish on normal level, but I haven't tried it on hard, so I'm going to finish on more normal level first. Uh, I would give this. I don't think it's as good as uh, Infinite Skating, which I um, reviewed last week, which is their new game. But it's a pretty decent shoot 'em up. I got to admit, it's pretty good. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it seven out of ten. Um, I say don't you know seven out of ten is not a bad score. It just means it's you know it's a pretty good average beat 'em up, but nothing super special. Uh, but for five pound odd, you can't complain. I got to admit. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy this one guys and uh, say next week hopefully I'll come back with something on the consoles but it's always nice to do the occasional uh, PC game. Uh, I say if Steam does have a lot of really cool shmups and stuff and a lot of very Japanese games on there which is quite cool to go through them. But uh, hopefully you like the review guys, uh, 7 out of 10 and I shall catch you next week. So uh, bye now.